where's music going? Where, where, where is this going? I mean, um, we're, 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 we're hearing a little, a little bit of positive music come back, a little bit of dudes trying to, but, but, but um, it's not making, like, they got Kendrick Lamar up here. I, I don't feel he's as great as they, they say he is. I mean, he's speaking gibberish to me, actually, and a bunch of people I know, so, I mean, but they're using <laughs> him, and he's supposed to child now for, for conscious music, and he's just speaking gibberish. So I, I don't know. This is my question: Where's music going? I don't know. General question. Um, where's rap music going? Excuse me. Well, to me, there's rap music there and there's hip hop. There's hip-hop. You see? Right, right. So where's hip hop going? Where's rap going? Right. Like you know, um, rap seems to be getting more commercial, more, you know, just more about savage behavior and and. Drugs, it's, they're becoming like um, commercials for pharmaceutical companies, basically. You know, black, black people didn't used to fuck with pills and shit like that. Like, maybe, maybe a little mescaline back in the days. But we smoke weed, you know what I mean? We used to sniff coke, maybe fuck with some dope, smoke some dust, you know what I mean? That was about it, like, for black people. Like, but now all this Percocets and all this other shit, I'm not even going to say all the names because that's what they want you to be familiar with, all these names. So I'm not even going to promote that shit for them. But, um, I mean, there's, there's, there's glimmers of hope out there, though. You know what I mean? I have an artist named Aaron Cooks, plug, plug, plug. And... He's going to be somebody that's going to be a mainstream artist that knows how to come. He has the perfect blend of the street shit with the consciousness. You know what I mean? So that's 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 my contribution to right now music. You understand right. what I'm saying? There's and, also and, Dead Prez that you, you know, yeah, you were Dead behind. Yeah, Dead Prez. That was my group at, But, you know, that that's... They did what they did. They are already legends in the game. You yeah. know what I mean? We talk about where is it going. So... If I have anything to do with it, it's going to go more in that type of direction. You understand what I'm saying? If we make this popular, but y'all have something to do with it too. Like, y'all got to support the shit that you claim you want to hear. Like, if you just sit back passively and just let these other motherfuckers keep going platinum, and then when some shit comes out that you really fuck with, and you just listen to it whenever it's on the radio and don't go out and, and actively... You know what I mean? Aggressively right, try to right. get this shit, then you're not gonna hear what the fuck you wanna hear. You know what I mean? And then you'll be part of the problem. But right. I'm actually coming from Boston. Um, I bought the ticket like maybe like four weeks ago. I'm like, wow, so thanks for coming man. down, Thank brother. You, man. I appreciate you traveling oh, down. Um, my thing is this: like, there's always been like whack artists out there, but back in the day, if you were on some bullshit, as you say, you would just get ignored. Right. But now it seems like the promoters and like you know record labels and everything, they're funding this bullshit and then two years later they just drop. So like, who talks about Chief Keith anymore? Right. Look what happened to Iggy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Trinidad Take, James. <laughs> well this, that kind of goes to what I was saying earlier about disposable businesses. Each rapper is a business. Right. And there's plenty of disposable rappers out there that you know is not going to be here 20 years from now like a fucking brand new game or a public right. enemy or, or any of these legendary fucking artist that's right. come in the past. There's plenty of people that they know are one hit wonders. Party like but they're still or... in business with these because they can make some quick bread off of it. My thing is this, like if you're in it to make more money off of an artist, why don't you pick someone that you know is going to be in it for the longevity? Because not everybody has the luxury of finding somebody like that. I mean, you know, I was, it's not like I was paving the streets, but the last artist I found before my artist now is Dead Prez, and that's like, what, 15, yeah. 16 years ago, you understand? So jewels are just not found like that all the time, you know what I mean? So, so some people take a piece of shit, spray some gold on it, and make it look like it's a fucking jewel until you smell the motherfucker, you see? This ain't no jewelry at all. You went back and forth with the bum ass nigga Vince Staples. And ah. I, didn't hear you, I didn't hear you. He said some slick shit as far as being funny. He's a real sarcastic. Right, 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 right. We all know the 2000s is never better than the 90s and no. Right, 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 right. We all know that. And what would you say to that bum ass nigga if he was right here? <laughs> 
See, first of all, if the bum ass nigga was right here, he wouldn't be talking all slick out of his mouth like that. Cause I'll be quick to punch a nigga like that in his face. You understand what I'm saying? But I, I let it go. You understand what I'm saying? I, I see that like he's the type that tries to get a rise out of you or some shit. Like, so he's a little disrespectful bastard. But it's like I can't fully blame him because I don't know his family situation. He might have not had a pops around to teach him how to talk to a real motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Because he also came out of pocket with my man Nori. Like, mm -hmm. come on, B. Like, we some real niggas. Like, fuck all this rap shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to know who you talking to sometimes. So I said, this little nigga don't even know who the fuck he talking about. I'm going to let him go because... I didn't even really need to even heard of him before that. You know what I mean? So, and I heard his shit. He, you know, a couple of his beats is all right. He all right. But it's like, whatever. If the nigga, little nigga was here, I'd tell him, relax yourself, little nigga, for you get hurt. Another thing, why do we let, like, motherfuckers like Justin Bieber come in, sit next to Diddy, when we know 10 years down the line, he's going to be like Mark Warburg, like, Oh no, I was I don't even want to think about the time I was chilling with them niggas or even rapping. Why do we let these motherfuckers come in and bleach our culture? Because you know, it's part of our greed, like a real motherfucker would never have a, a Justin Bieber type motherfucker hanging around, Especially right? with the tape coming out, I don't give a fuck what you say. You violated, so that's it. Like, right, but when you back. have when you have interest, when you say, okay, well, this guy got a big fan base and he got a lot of white people that follow him, I want to leech off of his fan base. So I'm going to let this little corny motherfucker hang around me, you know, and hopefully I can leech some of his fame. Like, you know what I mean? And if, and if that means he's going to leech off of my culture, then that's fine with me as long as I personally get paid off this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like most people don't really care about the next generation or, or how something is being affected culturally. You know what I mean? They're just thinking about right now and how can I get this paper and this motherfucker Justin likes my shit and I'm gonna have him come in the studio and I'm gonna teach him some black shit and I'm gonna show him how to dress black and talk like he black and you know what I mean? And give him some swag and all that type of shit, make him feel good about himself and then hopefully I can fucking, you know what I mean? Did you see the dreadlocks that the Justin Bieber yeah. got there? Oh. It's crazy, dude. Oh. No. And this is this is coming, you know, and you and you had yeah, dreads I had real, yeah, real yeah, dreads. Yeah. Yeah, he actually dreaded up his hair now. <laughs> it's like they want to be black, but they don't want to be black. For real, for real. You want to flirt with blackness. Culture. Blackish. You see? Blackish. Like that means kind of, sort of. You see? Kind of, sort of. Whenever you hear ish on the end of something, that means kind of, sort of, not necessarily the real thing. Okay? So he wants to be hip hop ish. You dig? He wants to be black ish. Any year that you look at, there's a higher concentration of classic albums 94, 95, 96. You can name five albums easy off the back that are classic. We can't do that today. I feel like there's no way we can do that today. So what does the rap game look like in 2030, 2025? We just gonna create some new shit like black people always do. <laughs> we did jazz, rock and roll, country, blues. Like we always, whenever we create some shit and then it gets usurped by white people, we be like, I. Right. Like once, once Kenny G of rap gets to, to hip hop, you understand what I'm saying? Once the Kenny G type niggas start rhyming, y'all niggas have that. Like y'all, y'all take that. We gonna come with some next shit. Now I don't know what's gonna what it's gonna be. I don't, but it's gonna come out of some of those traditions, some of the original hip hop feeling and, and vibes. But I don't know necessarily how it's gonna be presented to you. You see, but I don't think it's gonna be hip hop as we know it. Cause if, if things keep going the way it is, real niggas is just gonna abandon the shit and make some new shit, that's all.
Ain't no thing to a creator. All right, so I read some shit. It said that basically a scientist, you know, like you said, you know, some some people, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you know about melanin, it's it protects us from the sun. Mm -hmm. It does know? more than that, but go ahead. Exactly. So my dermatologist always tells me you're least likely, since my skin is darker, you're least likely to get shit like melanoma, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. shit like that. So I read some shit and some scientist says, Superman, Superman, this is fictional. Superman gets his powers from the sun. So if that's the case, he should be black. And this is a scientist saying mm -hmm. this shit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is a scientist saying this shit. So... Do you feel white people will be outraged about some shit like that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Superman? Please. Are you asking if, if, if people would be upset over a black Superman? Exactly. Yeah. It's like we have some we have some black superheroes, but it's kind of like I mean, people were upset. They were mad about a black Annie. They, they were upset over uh, the black uh, Human Torch. The Human Torch. Johnny Blaze? Yeah. And, and the Fantastic Four was played by the dude from Creed. He didn't look right. He didn't look right. It's like James Bond, the guy that writes James Bond. You know, everybody's juggling Idris Elba. Right. They're saying, we want this, we want Idris Elba to do it. He fits the description. He's a British guy. Yeah. He, he said but no. the guy who wrote it, he was like, he's too street. You know? <laughs> Yeah, what does that mean, right? What does that mean, you know? Exactly. So it's like, why can't we have these icons? Why can't we have just these fiction characters, you know, that that will influence people, you know? Because we live in a society that, you know, bases a lot of things on fear. Fear of a black planet is real, you know? So, uh, that's some real shit, fear of a black planet, so. Because they know it'll grow fast, you know? What's that? They know to grow fast, that influence. Yes. Keep them fast. Well, they already, look at the influence that black culture has on the world, really, but we're not getting the full credit, but everybody wants to secretly be black. Like, let's keep it real. Like, whether you say it or not, you know what I mean? You got the whitest of white girls now pumping their ass and their lips and all this other shit to try to have that voluptuous look of the sisters you understand but if you ever said do you really want to be black oh, oh, no, 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 no. you know what i mean i read something that said that i don't know which way it is but like when a, a baby is born it starts out one sex and then it's and it's i guess the hormones are released and it changes to like everybody starts out as a male and then once the hormones are released then females it changes to a female if it's going to be a female. X, Y, X, X. Uh-huh. But then certain... Um, you mean in the, in the stomach? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But certain... Um, say you might have somebody that, you know, one of the hormones that is responsible for turning it to a male, it doesn't read that hormone. So you could have somebody that has, has say, a, a penis, and one of the hormones, it doesn't read, so when they grow, they end up growing up right. with the penis, but they still have that female. Right. Now, now I hear what you're saying, brother. And this, this like one in one millionth percent of the population that suffers from this thing that you're talking about, maybe will understand why they believe that they're a woman. But most of these transgenders that we're talking about do not suffer from the thing that you're speaking of right now. So what is it? You got a daughter? Huh? You want to take that chance with your daughter? Listen, I, I don't want to speak for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Look, look, we're hearing them out. I'm... I'm just saying in this right. one instance... In that instance... Where that person feels a certain way and right. there's some kind of physiology behind it, what do you what do you do with that person? Well, in that instance? I mean, I mean, I actually, I, I actually, I met, say you rehabilitate well, them. No, no. Well, you know something. I, I actually met someone like this. I, I met, I met someone. Huh? Like, How do you rehabilitate the physiology? That's what y'all trying to do now. If this guy got a penis, he's a man. He's trying to rehabilitate his physiology by cutting it off and giving himself titties and all that other shit. How come it's okay when they do it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, wait. So, so hold on. So I actually met someone who who had. Uh, 
a hermaphrodite. I don't know if it was a full hermaphrodite, but, but their chromosomes were different. And I remember I got into a conversation with them, and, and they explained What does the me? word hermaphrodite come from? Okay. It's Greek. Huh? Yeah. Having a, a, a... Like a man and a woman being put together. It's supposed yeah. to be what are the two names that they collided? Hermes and Aphrodite. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Word. But anyways, but I met someone like that, and they actually had... You could tell that they were both man and woman at the same time. So, I mean, in, in those cases, I mean, like... Th th these people really, really do suffer and really have I identity issues. And do you? And but, so but, you're asking, do I give that person a pass? That that rare one person a pass? Maybe. <laughs> We're talking about one. In a maybe, billion. maybe their, one in a their you know, their their physiology. This it's still a mental thing. Like physiology is one thing. It, uh, this shit gets so fucking convoluted. You have gender, you have sexuality, you have all these different things that even if this guy guy felt like a little girl or some shit when he was a kid, that still doesn't mean he has to fuck with, with guys when he get older. That just seemed to be his natural progression because he had feminine ways or whatever the case may be. It's like, I, I hear what you're saying, but that's not what we're dealing with right now. So all of this hypothetical, this one particular case, that's not what we're being bombarded right now when we're talking about transgender and all this other shit that we're being thrown at us right now. But yes, there's, abnor there's abnormalities that exist in all areas of nature. That doesn't mean we just rock with it. I'm, I'm a fan of Drake. I'm a fan, fan of the idea of Drake, so. No disrespect against Drake. What do you mean by the idea of Drake? What does that mean? I mean that if he has a ghostwriter, he's an idea. He's not meaning that it's it's a perception created that he's not really writing the lyrics, and it's a, it's, yeah, it's just like an, here let's 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 make this in the factory and put it out. I'm just on top of my game right now, Vlad, and uh, I'm just getting blessed. I'm booked four or five times a week, six to seventy-five k a show, man. I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm winning right now, man, and I'm just. Instead of trying to increase my hustle.